The hit TV show Lost River Sessions on WKU PBS has taken Southern Kentucky by storm and the nation by storm as well. Today, we sat down with the founder and one of the true voices of the local music scene, Darius Barati, to find out more about Lost River Sessions and some other passions that he may have as well. It's lunch with Tony Rose. Karate Kid, but it's the Barati Kid. Exactly. Right? <laughs> I've had a lot of fantasy football teams name that. So. Oh, oh, you're a fantasy football guy. Oh yes. I okay, am. Okay, we're gonna get into that okay. here in a minute All too. Right. All right, we're gonna get. I didn't know we were going there. <laughs> All the notes can go out the window yeah. now if we're gonna talk fantasy football. Uh, thanks for having lunch with me today. Oh, man. thanks for having me. Yeah. This is exciting. I know a lot of folks out there uh, are very familiar with a little program called Lost River Sessions, and this is the guy yeah. behind that, the brainchild, right? The founder. I guess. Yeah. You take yeah. your credit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll go with that yeah okay. now uh well we got a lot planned today and i want to okay. talk about lost river session but first of all we got to get some caffeination uh, here all right what's what's on the menu today the coffee of the day today is s'mores with whipped cream that's marshmallow dark chocolate and we also have freshly squeezed orange juice and lemonade you guys like to start out with one of those i like you know i'm on coffee black as this man's soul <laughs> <laughs> and i will do the same yeah. all right all right i got you guys thank you yep thank all right you. and uh so yeah, we got lunch coming here too, but we gotta get caffeinated. But Lost River Sessions, what season for you guys now? What, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so we are one episode away now from completing our third season. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we're super excited about that. We'll actually hope to have that done by the end of this month and right. then go straight into shooting for the fourth season while we finish the editing on the third season. But really, really excited, third season. This, sh done. this show, Lost River yeah. Sessions, is gorgeous to watch aesthetically you. like you watch it and it's like you're watching art <laughs> yeah. with music combined at the same time how did this how did this show come about mm -hmm. i mean obviously there's an idea somewhere that starts where you're driving down the road where you're mm -hmm. laying in bed one night and couldn't sleep was it something that had been eating at you how, right. did this, how did this happen no so before i started working at pbs i'd, I'd worked um, with a television station most of every everything that i was doing was music related editing videos or concerts things like that so when i started working at the station we actually had a band that was doing they wanted to do a live performance, but they wanted to have it recorded, and that would be an album. Like, it was right. live at, it was in Franklin, and it was the Debro Barons, and uh, the person that was doing the audio recording reached out, yeah. asked if we'd want to add a video component to that, and I had been just chomping at the bit to have right. something like that project here with all the good music in the area that we could jump on, and so that's what it was. Uh, wow. Large group of people, uh, three guys in the band, they just played yeah. the music at a little art gallery in Franklin, and... And from that point on, you know, we didn't know, I thought maybe it would just be an online series, like yeah. it was a one-off. And it wasn't until we started putting the edit together and then showed it to, or my boss, David Brinkley. Right. And Which I want to talk about that guy too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But the, the best thing he ever said, and what I love about him is he, the first thing he asked is if we could do this on a regular occasion. Can we wow. do more of these? So. Wow. All right. Here comes the hot stuff. This is the part where I would scald myself if <laughs> yeah. I had to do it, so I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad she's doing it for us All here. Right guys, the grits of the day today are sausage, green pepper, mm. and cheddar jack cheese. Oof. Tasty. Okay. All right. You've had wild eggs before? I have, yeah. Okay. So yeah. you know you can't go wrong <laughs> no, with absolutely. anything on the menu. Do you guys want to take a couple minutes? Or? Up to you. You good? I'll, be, I'll, I'll, good, I'll go, good. and by the time I'm done, you're good. Okay. Uh, I saw a man do a build your own omelet one time. You can do that here, right? You can do it. All right. Let's do the omelet. And I want to go tomatoes. Spinach, um, chorizo, because we can we can go this route, right? Yes. With an everything muffin. Okay, right, Not like in the omelet, though. I want it on the side. We'll do it on the side. Okay, I was gonna you say that. Do you want cheese in your omelet? Yes. Cheddar Jack's the best. Do it. Cheddar Jack. All right. And Building an omelet today. Skillet potatoes, grits, or those grits of the day we talked about. Skillet potatoes. All right, got it. You know what? You are the fitness king of Bowling Green. I don't know Keeping about that. With all your, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a direction, a good pathway, a healthy direction. Yeah, all I right, want that. Do. Same omelet. All right. Thank you guys. Let me grab those menus. Thank you. And we'll get this in. So um, we're talking 
So, so when, so when was this? This was how many years ago? This idea um, came up. So this was Lost 2014. Yeah, yeah, June of 2014. Right. Mm -hmm. So here we are, four years later, essentially yeah. three and a half years later. Yeah. How many episodes have you guys done of Lost Rivers? Oh Sessions? man, um, I'd say we're nearing 40. Yeah, we're wow. in, we're in that ballpark right now. What is the? I guess almost now is like is it one of those things where the challenge now is finding these venues to shoot at, or is it <laughs> you keep finding new and new places that, that pop up? Well, I mean, you know, that's a, that's kind of the thing with the area. Like, there's so many places now. Yeah. If you're just looking for venues that are already established places, like. I honestly think you could make the show just off of that, but every once in a while, you go to certain places. So, for example, the Shaker Museum. Right. Like they have so many buildings. They have this barn. They have you know the the houses there, and you go in there and you're like, we could do five shoots just in this place, and they would right. look completely different. So, you know, we've always been lucky that it's it's just a beautiful region, and we've not even had to step out of between Bowling Green, Smiths Grove, and Franklin yet to start looking for places. Like we're always. In people London. talk now a lot about the creative freedom that places like like a, like a Netflix gives you or HBO gives yeah. you. But the same can be said for PBS mm -hmm. as well, right? Mm -hmm. You have so much creative control right. in the direction that you can go with this. Right. Uh, it's got to be fun working in that environment too. Oh yeah, no, that's the that's the beauty of PBS in general. And in a way that's the challenge. So we don't deal with you don't have like commercials and you don't have sponsors that are saying hey you know this does well in ratings this is that for us it's all about what's going on in this community and how can we show that to the rest of the region and then the rest of the country and when you when you have that approach you get to be as creative as you want and we have a really good setup too not every PBS station is like this where it really comes down to go be artistic make the thing that you're passionate about and the worst that can happen is it just doesn't air and that's and that's that. So when you have that kind of creative license, man, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You know, we do. You know, I, I'm out there. You know, I do the stuff the bus every year when yeah. I'm in the bus, and I feel like that's my baby. You yeah. know, and it's like I have. You know, it's like I watch it grow up. And congratulations on that, man. Oh, that's man. one of my favorite things. You live at 13 watch. years in a bus. You know, <laughs> no, <all> things <laughs> go down. But this is your baby, right? I yeah, mean, you feel yeah. like this is like so. You want to watch it not only crawl, but you want to watch it grow up right in front of oh, your absolutely. eyes. Do you have a lot. Do you, I, mean, do you, are you, I guess you're really protective about this thing, right? Not protective, like in a, yeah. not in a bad way, but you want to make sure that every single thing you do, from the band you book to the location. Yeah of venues it has to fit the lost room right, sessions way, right right and you know that's I think that's you know one of the toughest things with it is you know we have a big student crew and for anybody to have a real mm -hmm. so right out of the gate we're gonna have students running cameras things like that but mm -hmm. it takes a while for for some of them to get to a point now we've actually yeah. had two students now that have come up and produced episodes almost completely on their own right and yeah that takes a lot of trust and it takes a lot of like you you kind of get to know the system first and yeah. you have to be protective that it wasn't just a let's just do whatever will get the most views or let's just do right. whatever the most popular here you think about it what what does the rest of the country think of this area and what would they think if they saw yeah. this band or that band and and you you kind of have this bigger picture always mm -hmm. you see three steps ahead so when you have a hit your phone starts ringing and, <laughs> and then how do you go about what's the process for selecting yeah. the musicians that you guys feature on here because again this isn't just this isn't just rock bands this isn't just americana right. bands this isn't right. just folk bands it's a lost river session style band Absolutely. that you're looking for a performer you're looking mm -hmm. for what's that process like because again that inbox has to fill up fast yeah with requests. yeah you know when we first started we we were pretty genre based like i think the first few mm -hmm. shows were very bluegrass or folk and we've started to dip into different different genres like even our last video the Josephines that's probably the most rock and roll type I think band that we've had but we love it and for me the criteria always is does this group does this artist make music that that moves you like it doesn't matter what genre they fit into doesn't matter what their background is are they making music that when you hear it 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 has an impact on yeah. how you feel and that's been the one consistent with everybody that we've had on the show up to this point. Well, you've made a TV show that, that moves <laughs> us. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful show, Lost River Sessions. It's on WKU PBS locally here and now even nationwide, right? I yeah. mean, you guys have, yeah. I mean, that's what's incredible about it. It's like your show, and this is the part that gives me goosebumps from seeing somebody <laughs> I know and somebody I respect so much. 
and it's like now your now your show is out there across the board in so many other markets. Yeah. Right, you guys are across the country now, right? Yeah. Well, so what we did with the first two seasons, we pretty much opened it up where any other PBS station that wants to air it can do that. Right. And so instantly, you've got Colorado picking it up, Orlando, you've got San Bernardino, you've got upstate New York, like all these different markets start running the show just based off of nothing else than we saw it, we want to run yeah. it. And what we're going to try to do with the third season is finally put that out on a, on a national level where wow. any market across the country will have access to it and can run the show. So that's the goal. But again, like you try not to get, for me, it's, it's when you see stuff like that and hear about all these different places picking it up, it's not, a, it's not about what, what we're doing as a station. It's strictly about people having an interest in yeah. what this region has to offer. So the, the bands, the musicians, and then the venues themselves, like that, we're really, all we do, I hate to say it, is point a camera at yeah. the things that we all appreciate and know. And so for people that don't live here to get to see that, I think that's really why people respond so well at the show. It's too modest. No, it's true. It's too modest. It's His level of humility <laughs> is as big as the show. Uh, we're talking with uh, Darius Barati. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming up, uh, mm -hmm. we're going to eat some delicious wild eggs. we got omelets coming out here in yes. a minute. And uh, I'm going to dive into some, some other things uh, in here, too. We're going to talk a lot through the sessions for sure, which you can see on WKU-PBS. But mm -hmm. fantasy football. <laughs> I didn't know this. Yeah. Now, now we have another common thread. Yeah. Also, uh, maybe some some of his uh, some of the fantasy bands that he would like to do a Lost River sessions mm -hmm. with, and some of his favorites of all time, and much more. There is Barati. It's our lunch with Tony Rose at Wild Eggs. More. At we take one band. We place them in an intimate venue. We invite a small audience, and we let them play. Experience the Lost River Sessions. Jenny here from your local Big Deal store. Have you checked this place out yet? We've got gift certificates from dozens of local businesses, all sale priced. I'm talking restaurants, entertainment, car care, and items for your home. And you can shop 24 hours a day from the convenience of your home or from your smartphone. Big Deals. We're kind of a big deal. Omelet off here. Right. Mine looks on point. Mine does too. You copycatted me. I did. We're totally going to call did. this, hopefully, if anybody's listening and watching, yeah. this is now the Tony Rose special. Like, so. I like it. <laughs> I see where you're going with this. Yeah. I see where you're going with this. Lost River Sessions, we talked about that in our first segment. Let's talk about some other stuff now, though. Um, you know, we, we, have a, we have a mutual friend, a mutual mentor yes, in do. the business, yep. David Brinkley. Yep. Uh, of course, you get to work with him every day. When I first got into this game 20 years ago, uh, that shows how long David's been doing this. Thing, <laughs> if he watches it, um, but he, he he helped get my foot in the door and helped get and, and taught me a lot of stuff I know, and I still use things today, even on the radio side. It's just broadcasting yeah. life lessons yeah. in general. One of the real brilliant minds in the business. What's it like uh, working with him and having him involved in this project? Oh, it's great. It's not intimidating at all. Since not at was, all, right? Since he was uh, yeah. he was actually one of my professors in in college, and so right. to, to work into a position now where he's my boss, not intimidating at all. But no, yeah. he is. Like you, you, you know, because I left um, Western after graduating and, right. and went and worked in the field around Nashville and then Atlanta. Right. Now, where'd you work at down there? Like, what'd you do there? Um, I actually worked in uh, several different places. So mostly yes. freelance. Um, okay. There was uh, one particular TV station that I had worked at when I was getting to do like the music edits, things like that. But yeah. then I was even doing camera things for like Vanderbilt uh, for right. their athletics department right. and uh, stuff like that. But, you know, the thing I, I came to appreciate when I came back is what it's like to have a boss that gives you that creative freedom right that, like lets you go out and try things lets you even go out and fail at something without 
constantly having a hand on you know the back of your neck and saying oh right. this is what you need to do or that right um, so you don't appreciate that until later in life and that's what yeah. I love about David yeah now um, Lost River Sessions, of course, taken off like a rocket ship. Mm -hmm. You worked with close to 40 bands on there, mm -hmm. yep. all together, 40 bands. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there's been some stories because as a guy, <laughs> now here's the thing. I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, back in when I first got into this business, we did a show on the radio called Live and Local. Okay. Where we were, where we were promoting local bands yeah. on the radio side of yeah. it. We'd have the live stripped down acoustic performances you know at the, at the time like i said 20 years ago it's a lot different you know mm -hmm. than, than uh it was different at the time and we got to work with a lot of these bands and you kind of feel like you become the voice of the music scene do you kind of feel like you're kind of become the voice of the music scene in a way well I, you know i don't i try not to be because mm -hmm. for me that they, they do such a good job if anything i want to be just <clears throat> just a door just something right. a way that people can take a view in so if anything we'll try to be somebody from out of this area's binoculars to see what's going on in this area right. but I feel like you know all the bands are so good the music is so good um, they do a great job of representing themselves all we want to do is just help people find them so yeah, yeah I wouldn't say a voice maybe just a, a connection for right. people that might not have heard of like the Josephines or right. you know any of the groups that we've had on there and now right. they're exposed to it well let's jump into it then I'm gonna give you three bands that you've had on Lost mm -hmm. River Sessions mm -hmm. all right I've made my notes three bands and you tell me um, just a thought mm -hmm. about working with them, maybe something from from the shoot, from the set, whatever it may be. Yeah. First one, we'll start with the we'll start with Numero Uno, the, okay. the Dead Rope Barons. Okay. That was your first one, right? Yes. Yeah. They were first one. I would say with them, I'm gonna say real. Real. One word, yeah, real. Mm -hmm. Because especially now that I've kind of gotten to know them and see that their personal stories right. and how that translates then into the music, like that's what I love about who they are like you can see them and when you hear their songs you know that's about right. something that's about an actual thing that they either experienced or dreamed up or had going on in their life and I love that about their music so yeah real for those guys all right number two okay one of my guys <laughs> uh, Mike Natcher and his guys and they track oh, life okay because here's the thing Mike Natcher been doing his stuff a long time oh, yeah. man and Mike's oh, a good yeah. dude but eight track love what was it like working with those cats all right so we're gonna throw it into one word. Mm -hmm. well, call, just the one thought. Okay, one thought. I'm gonna put you on one word. One. Thought. All right. All right. Um, man, they almost want to say dreamy, like with dreamy. Like, seriously, like That's, they. That made his day watching this. I, I'm telling you, they yeah. have a sound that is so not of this place. Like mm -hmm. that's what I caught on, especially uh, Stephen Page and his guitar playing. Like yeah. he's got this beautiful sound. And it doesn't sound like anything else that's going on in the area. Right. And that's what I love about them. They've got a good, especially with Mike, he's got that kind of, uh, he reminds me a lot of the replacements and, and, yeah. and their type of music. So it's a little bit of a throwback. But yeah, I'm going I'm to say dreamy with them. Like it, right. it will take you to a, yeah. a different place. All right, one more uh, a band, I think one of the hardest working bands out there in Southern Kentucky, around the area, not yeah. in Southern Kentucky, the Josephines, yeah. one I know you guys just recently wrapped up with. Mm -hmm. What's uh, that like? Man, they are so. You drink black coffee, right? You put a little fireball in that, yeah. And that's the Joseph <laughs> energy, raw. Just yeah. go for it. Like every night, just go for it. Mm -hmm. So, what I like about them is they've got the they've got great music. The lyrics are great. Their music musicianship is mm -hmm. phenomenal. But you don't ever see them just go play a gig and then they're done. Like we'll play this slot and we're done. Like they go all out. So every time you see them, yeah, you're seeing. Well, I guess it's five guys now you're seeing them just go all the way to the wall like out there putting themselves out there the energy everything and they do so great at getting the crowd involved in it too yeah. like if you want to see a good crowd right. go to the Josephine show and you'll see everybody involved mm -hmm. they're doing a good job of like bridging that gap between we're up here performing and you're down there like everybody feels like it's a moment and mm -hmm. not just a I went and saw a show right so yeah all right we said you're a big fantasy football guy enjoy the fantasy football mm -hmm. if you had a fantasy lost river sessions all the bands out there right. right who would your let's let's get three bands okay for your fantasy lost river sessions oh boy oh boy all that's right it's tough man and that, and that would almost be what's in your what's in what's on your like rotation yeah. right now almost right okay so so this can be anybody was it people from the, the entire show? universe oh man okay i'm saying right. you too if you want them Ooh, ooh, now 
All is right. that not a fair question? That's a fi- that's a very fair question. Okay. All right. Well, we gotta have. Can they be living or or? Anyway, across the board, oh, man. Boy. It's oh. your it's your lunch All with right. wild eggs, man. You can do whatever you want. You know what? I'm. It's not even a Lost River sound, but we're gonna start mixing some stuff. Up. I'm gonna okay. go with. We got Mick Jagger. On, as the front man. Right. We're gonna do Jimi Hendrix right beside him. Yeah. <sighs> Drums. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Mm-hmm. Let's just throw in Phil Collins. Let's just okay. have some fun, just okay. in case they okay. need him to carry a song. Okay, I'm with you. If we can work Dave Grohl in, let's I'm get. There. All right, let's do it. All right, there what you go. What can that guy not play? Exactly, he's, he's got it all. Right, we'll have him doing whatever's left. Whatever's left, yeah. Dave Grohl is there. Uh, the fantasy lineup for a Lost River Sessions fantasy show, right there. Um, what do you do in your spare time, man? What do you do when I, I know like you're very busy, mm-hmm. uh, you grind hard out there yeah. at what you do, but uh, when you have some downtime, you know, what, what's your, what's your, what do you like to do? I'll say that's the beauty of, of doing a show about something you love. Mm-hmm. For me, it's live music. So yeah. it, I, I feel like on a weekend, it's almost a guarantee I'm gonna swing by Ted Balls or the A-Frame and see who's playing, what does this band sound like? Um, and you can call it homework a little bit too. Like you get yeah. to feel like, yeah, I had a fun night, but that's part of what it is. Like you got to go out and see who's playing music these days. Like yeah. what, what does everybody sound like? So, so stuff like that. Fantasy football. I'm actually yeah. doing fantasy basketball. Right no now. way. So, no. That's when you know you've reached a, a problem. I know. Man, is when you do fantasy sports as a guy who's <laughs> addicted to fantasy football. And we don't have a lot of NBA fans out here. Oh, I can't. It's, it's, I can't find other. I've people never to done do it. that level of. Of course, now, now I, 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 might, I, might or, I may or may not be in a fantasy professional wrestling mm-hmm. league, but oh. I'll leave that alone. Now that's interesting. You can put fantasy in front of everything, and this, and this is where it gets awkward on the show. No, I was kidding. <laughs> um, Darius, man, seriously, the, the music scene, which you know mm-hmm. I've seen over 20 years, and now to where it is going now, and what you're doing, it's in good hands. You and what and what you have created with David and all the talent yeah. around you at WKU PBS. It's game changing, man. Oh, thank you. It is really yeah, game changing. You. I've said that ever since the first time I met you, ever since I first saw Lost for Recessions. Um, it is art. And you've taken these bands and you've taken these venues and you've made this symphony together. Um, I, I respect what you do, man. Do. Seriously. Our thank very, you very first, much. I think the very first interview when we started was, was with you. So you've been with us wow. since day one. So I am honored. And especially for all the work that you do in the community, yeah. just beyond Stuff the Bus showing you know we'll sit here and show bands from the area but you're showing people and individuals in their life work and man i'll never be able to thank you enough for what you've done up to this point cheers to that lunch with tony rose darius barati the barati kid lost river sessions you can find out more we'll throw the links up here in the bio and uh, I'm going to let you get to that uh, Tony Rose omelet over there, okay? I want to get some muscles, though, from this. That's the You clang protein. and bang is what it's <laughs> that's called. That's what it is. Clang. That's what we need to do, a Lost River Session from the gym. There you go. Yeah, there, there you go. go. <laughs> Darius Ferrati, <laughs> Lost with Tony Rose at Wild Eggs.